Um, I, I wrote to all of the new board members a letter, and, the board members and Brad has acknowledged that the board has received the letter. And I want to talk about the prequel to the letter. The letter starts out that I, I said in 1989, I was hesitant in bringing my son to the DC district. Why was I hesitant? When I was young, we used to watch one of three channels at night. I have a strong memory of all three channels telling the story of Emmett Till being beaten and killed when he visited Dixie. I vividly remember seeing the image of his body in my mother's Jet magazine, the only magazine that printed pictures of, of Emmett Till after he'd been beaten. Killed in Dixie was the head. I was eight. And for the next 10 years, all manner of abuse was heaped on people that looked like me, by people in Dixie. And I was an interested witness. I watched as people all over Dixie resisted Brown, resisted Brown versus education by any means possible. Beatings, closing schools, riots. I watched as people that looked like me were denied lunch rooms, clean toilets, clean water fountains all throughout Dixie. I listened as Senator James, James Eastman told the world that segregation would never end in Dixie, followed by a host of governors standing in the schoolhouse entrances throughout Dixie. There are many more images of Dixie that were formed in those years. Dixie was not a place that I wanted to be. This is what drives me. And so, ending it, no person should feel the hesitation about delivering their child to school. A name change is the right thing to do. I thought that was a good thing. Thank you. No, that was, I thought like that. I'm sorry. Thank you. We need a swivel chair. Budget cuts, you know. <laughs> uh, public comment, David Curtis.